Hello folks and welcome back. It's hard to believe but it's time for that two-year review of our Cresita travel trailer. We're going to go through the good, the bad, and the ugly and tell you what we like and uh, what's gone wrong and whether or not we would purchase a Cresita travel trailer again. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's go ahead and start on this side and uh, then we'll walk around the trailer, do the roof, and I'll take you inside and uh, we'll talk about the inside. As far as uh, anything on the trailer, uh, I've purchased everything on this trailer after researching it and uh, there's no endorsements of any kind for any product on this trailer. Start with over here, we have the uh, trailer we ordered it without the awning. Uh, for most of the time we've owned the trailer, we've enjoyed it without the awning, uh, but we've actually changed our uh, camping philosophy and right now I am actually researching a bag awning for this side of the trailer. On the back of the trailer we added the uh, backup camera which uh, has come in handy. Uh, the tire carrier that came from Casita down here you'll notice it's gone. Uh, it didn't hold up and I just didn't like the looks of it so I took it off. The uh, sewer hose carrier at the bottom uh, that's the second one I've put on there. This one has actually lasted a lot better uh, because of how we mounted it to the actual bumper down here. It's more stable so there's no rubbing of the bumper. The uh, other issue that I had back here, we had owned the trailer maybe about six months and this tail light right here had filled up to water and it was uh, about to right that point right there. Uh, I contacted Casita. The other tail light was fine. There was no water in it. But anyway, I contacted Casita and they offered to uh, send the trailer to have it repaired. Uh, I made the offer to them that if they just sent me the tail lights, I would put them in myself and uh, save the, them the money of having to have it installed. Uh, they sent me two brand new tail lights. I replaced this one on this side. Uh, the other side, the passenger side, is still the original tail light. So I have an extra tail light now um, in case I ever need it but we've had no other issues with it. All right, over here on the driver's side of the trailer, uh, you've got a lot of utilities. We've got the water heater. We've never had an issue with it. I've replaced the anode in it uh, several times just because of the amount of usage that we do. You can also see on this side, the uh, uh, connectors, I put the battery connector for 12 volts. We added the external power connector, which is probably some of the best thing I ever did. And then we add the external solar connector on this side, which has come in handy. Uh, no issues with the trailer um, from Casita. No problems with the trailer. Uh, we did have the issue on this side of the brakes that had locked up on this side. But that issue was covered by Dexter. They uh, fixed the brakes with no problem. I have added the uh, tire pressure monitoring system, TPMS, on the trailer, which is a very new uh, addition and it's working fine with no problems. I probably should have had it before and I probably could have caught some of the issues we had in Utah when the brakes went bad because of how hot it got because it does give you temperature also. So uh, looking forward to seeing how it works and I would highly recommend it by anybody on the trailer. As far as the uh, sewer system on this side with the uh, uh, gray tank and the black tank dumps We've never had an issue with those. They've worked fine with no problems. Uh, I believe as long as you keep up your regular scheduled maintenance on them, you'll be fine. Uh, water system, we've never had a water system issue anywhere in the entire trailer. So uh, knock on wood, that'll keep going. Uh, as you know, we did install the Stromberg Carlson tray, the box, and the 50 watt solar panel on the top. Uh, it's probably some of the best money I spent. Uh, the only complaint I've got with this has nothing to do with Casita. Uh, the Stromberg Carlson tray functionally is in great shape. Uh, the problem I don't like is the paint's not holding up on it. So I've got a sneaky feeling probably in uh, about a year or so I'll have to take the entire tray off and sand it and paint it. Uh, I contacted Stromberg Carlson and they sent me some parts but they didn't really want to send me a new tray. I was going to send this one back to them. Uh, we did opt for the uh, electric uh, jack stand here and I can only imagine it would be a nightmare without it. And we do have the Anderson hitch which uh, I can't talk enough about it. 
And then the other thing that I forgot to mention earlier on this side, the passenger side, is the door lock did uh, uh, jam up. We ended up having to replace it. I've got a video out on that if you want to, the specifics. Uh, it's fairly easy to do. All right, let's take a quick look at the roof here. You'll see it comes with a max fan, which is great because I can run my fan whether it's rainy or not. Uh, the seals on it are good. Other than that, the air conditioner is really no penetrations up here. So you don't have to worry about anything leaking up here. And you can see it's held up really well for two years. I do keep a cover on it when I'm not uh, using it. But other than that, it's lasted with no problems. All right, let's go ahead and step inside and talk about it. First thing we'll talk about is rivets we replaced. On the, we've had to replace this rivet right here. We've had to replace this rivet in the back corner here. And we've had to replace this rivet right here. That's the only external rivets we've ever had to replace on the trailer. And then we've had to replace uh, two inside rivets, uh, these two right here, which go through and hold the panel there to the bathroom panel. Those five rivets are the only rivets we've ever had to replace in the trailer. In the bathroom here, we've never had any issues in here. We do use the teak floor mat, which does make it a lot nicer when you're showering in the bathroom. One minor thing we did do is we replaced the uh, plastic cutting board with this wire cover for the sink. It works a lot better. Uh, we found with the plastic cutting board that if the water gets bumped on, it's going to run into the floor. Whereas with this, it'll go straight through. And then you still got the surface area to use if you need it. And when you want to use the sink, you just roll this back out of the way. And then when you're ready, just roll it back over the sink and you've got your countertop again. It seems to work a lot better than the uh, plastic cutting board. As far as the gas furnace here, we've never had an issue with it. Used it numerous times. The air conditioner, uh, never had an issue with it. You can see I did replace the filters with upgraded filters, which seem to work better. Uh, we did add a stereo in the back, which does come in handy when you're uh, camping. And then the refrigerator, we've got, you know, the, obviously the four cubic foot refrigerator with no problems. Uh, there's our solar controller. Now, the other major issue that we did have is right here. This was the, uh, this is our power panel. And the power converter that converts AC to DC did go out on us in uh, Nevada. And we did have to replace it while we were out online. Now, it was simple to replace uh, depending on who you talk to, I don't know if it was over voltage, under voltage, surge, or just defective, but it was easy to replace, so we did replace it. The other thing we did is when we first started, we had the queen bed across the back, and it was a pain because one of us always had to crawl over the other one to get out of bed. So we opted for these twin beds. We bought mattresses from a uh, company up in Ohio. And I tell you what, they're six inch mattress and they're very comfortable. So I would say that's probably one of the better things that we've done with the trailer. Now up here on the end, we put the boards across and we took the two small cushions and put them down here where we store them. And then when we sit and watch the TV, we'll actually pull them up and set them up against the wall here. And that's gonna be our backrest. So we're right in line to watch TV and that works good. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk about storage. Uh, over the sink and the stove, you've got these two cabinets here. That's where we do a lot of our groceries. We'll store them up here. Uh, along the side over here, these two small cabinets is what my wife uses for her fold-up items. The back cabinet back there is for bigger fold-up items that we split between us. And then on this side over here is what I use for my fold-up items. Inside the uh, cabinet here where the microwave used to be, uh, is where we put our shelves, which is we use like a pantry. The top cabinet up there is just where I put for uh, extra storage stuff. And then, uh, let me get this little latch to latch. Uh, down here under this bench is mostly all your utilities. There's no storage down here. But over on this side, under the uh, uh, pasture side bench, up at the end is your water tank, but down on this end is, is full of storage, and there's the access. We put our paper towels, extra sheets, blankets, uh, anything like that bulky down there. And then we have the two boxes at the foot down there where we put water and our shoes. 
in the bathroom here you have a little cabinet underneath the sink which is where we put uh, things like our drop-ins for our tank the sealant uh, lubricant for the toilet and to be honest with you I actually also keep my drip coffee maker in there when I'm not using it uh, over on the sides you got the little pukas here where we put our shampoo and our toothpaste and any toiletries like that and we've even mounted a toothbrush holder in there and uh, so storage is not a problem here either and then over here we have our stand up hang up closet which we can put a lot in there and it's got two little shelves on the door and then the final cabinets here you've got the two drawers right underneath the sink and they're full size drawers and we keep our silverware I mean anything like that utensils in there and then at the bottom you've got the big door on the right which is where we keep all our pots and pans and a little door on the left which is where we keep uh, actually the vacuum cleaner and then up under the sink you got a little puka that we put our soap and dishes dish rags and all in and then that little cabinet above the sink which is like a little spice cabinet all right folks well that's a two-year review of our casita travel trailer and i guess it all boils down to this love the trailer had some minor issues nothing major would definitely buy it again and would definitely recommend it well we want to thank you for watching we appreciate your support and we hope this helps you out if you're looking at a casita